Ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for coming. And uh, firstly, I also thank you the conference organizer invite me, and also I'm very thank you the Professor Anis recommendation. Uh, I think my topic is here. Let's talk about the uh, make world order the chaotic and affect views in the face of new knowledge and technology. Uh, I think the most people under 40 do not subscribe to the newspaper or happy to read to into the TV and the radio or the newscast. The some scholars uh, in, interpret this trend as indication that today's the youth are not interested in news and are less specifically minded than the previous generation. However, others contend that the waning consumption of traditional news media does not necessarily mean youth are disinterested in news or politics. But instead, this new generation refer to new approaches to reach news such like website, social media. However, unlike the traditional news channel, the social media is related as the new knowledge and technology innovation. The people have two identities, readers and authors, and they didn't journalists and experts expertise, but they publish news as well. To be careful, these people who have no journalists and expertise are also capable to publish eye-catching news articles or the knowledge to influence world order or politics and economy. However, we cannot conclude that people who have no journal at least intend to write the fake news or knowledge on social media, but it is undeniable the news article or the knowledge become more penetration in people's nets, particularly social media, invest into the mobile internet and telecommunication. Why is fake news? The report of social media and fake news in the 2016 election defines the fake news to be news articles that are intentionally and verifiably false and <coughs> mislead leaders. And according to the 2017, the mobile usage report from the study call, most countries have 70% coverage of the mobile consumer in average. And China, United States, Mexico, Brazil, and Indonesia have the over 70%. So obviously, the mobile replaces traditional means to be trend of the main source of news and knowledge. And mobile news and knowledge apps become the key platform to disseminate information. The news and the knowledge appear correct or incorrect and incorrect ones attempts in tests that could be stuck of the function of the farm, sorry. But it could be political or self-interested until the end of the 2015. There often happened the fake news met what older county, but this situation changed since 2016 U.S. presidential election. I think probably you are like me, we really care about the U.S. presidential election. So in my first slide, you see that. But since 2016, um, the active the Facebook user per month reached 1.8 billion, and the Twitter's approaches of 400 million. And the fake news, the articles, uh, I'm talking about the several types of website. And since the US presidential election, the more and more people don't realize the importance of the fake news. Because until now, the many people many people still have the deep concern and the doubt about the justice of the Trump, the President Trump, whether election we correctly or incorrectly. And the more and more the European countries they also suffer the same problem. For example, like recently, we just did the Finnish, the, the Dutch, and the French, and even have the next the European country, they still have the, the election. And the people understand the fake news have become the more powerful. Why? Because the people, they use the social media, they have a strong political ideology that don't believe what they read. So that is the key problem about the fake news in, uh, in America, particularly. So in my next slide, thank you. The Latin America. Uh, in Latin America, probably I will to share, um, I have to say my slide just a partial because the other more sensitive information I have already deleted. And I just uh, only to publish uh, the info, uh, about the fake news, the development in uh, America and uh, Latin America. In Latin America, it's very interesting because about the fake news, also the trigger about the populism. And what is the problem? 
because uh, usually we understand that in America uh, they more suffer the so so social problem and particularly about the political situation is still instable. So that now we need uh, the, this the fake news is very easy to catch the people's eyes and to read this and the more and more people they don't believe this is true. I have to say the fake news is very, uh, I can't say it's a very good strategy, but it's a very smart move. Why? Because usually the fake news writer, they understand how to make the combination and the mix the real and the false information. And particularly they understand to create the most believable the news to convince you. However, when you know that, eventually they have already finished their intention. And I have to say, according to our research, we find out the fake news has one very special characteristic is the very light. When they to reach their intention, the news will disappear. It, sometimes it becomes untraceable. So it sometimes be traceable. And it's very interesting that now, even though the more and more uh, the new technology can to check the fact, to check the uh, uh, truth of the news, but you will find out um, the the innovation of the technology between the fake news and the check the, the fact checking the technology I have to say the fake news the technology developed faster faster than the real one okay so go to my next the slide I think I probably to speak to you actually because I have already prepared a speech test but I don't know every time when I prepare my speech test I always forget. <laughs> yes, because you know, uh, uh, I have to say I'm a very uh, traditional scholar because uh, before that I, I was a uh, politician on uh, the X uh, for my boss. Uh, so for me, every time I touch the people, I prefer the people to people to talk. But uh, now uh, I'm a scholar, so I have to, uh, to do the research more carefully to understand particularly uh, we have the more resources to connect the very useful information. Okay, so talk about Europe is very interesting because the, now the Europe also the same situation like uh, like Latin America. But the thing is, and the, now in, in Europe, the more people they more rely rely more rely on on the social media, and particularly in every the mobile apps, the people I do like me, we have the last of the news the apps inside your mobile, and every time when you read this news, you will believe that is true. And every time when you realize that this is the fake news, they really to bring the chaos and to check the world order, and you will probably find find out that the, the world is going to be to be shut. For example, like uh, more sensitive, uh, more strong sensitivity of, uh, about the, the fake news. I think usually in countries the security security is changing stuff, and uh, the now. And the, the more and more the election campaigns and the, the other the I can't say politician but uh, the other uh, the action action player they try to use the fake news to achieve their intentions. I can't say that this intention is but it's very interesting. Well, we just to calculate, we just to, to sort out uh, the fake news we collect. We find out the more people they prefer to write the, the fake news is more politically. It's more political to compare compare the interests related to the business and the politics. We we, we very wonder and the surprise why the more the fake news is connected with the uh, the politi the political interest. Because in in the beginning of our research, we suppose this fake news more highly relevant or in influence the business interest. But however, when we when we uh, to process our research, we find out. The more and more the fake news are uh, more uh, political. They want to, to change, uh, change the politics. Okay, so please, let's watch. Uh, Africa. It's, uh, I just to quickly to read uh, the, 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 the sentences uh, on the slides. The new legislation has been, uh, has seen the establishment of the thousands of private media companies. The role they have played in the creating and sustaining uh, discourse of the democratic reform on the country cannot be ignored. However, fake news and the misinformation are fueling roughly symphonic the precious Africa. It's very interesting. In Africa, they read about the fake news. They want to trigger the phenomena of symphonic. It's, I don't know why. 
probably you can give me the answer to help us do. Pardon? Resources. Resources. Yes, I think probably. And uh, and the next one is about a manipulation. Uh, manipulation of private media by governments contributes to the very levels of distrust. Then uh, that many on the continent feel towards the mainstream media. But uh, in in Africa, our the best our the first research finding we find out uh, the fake news that connects with us in Bolivia. And also, and I have to say, uh, the fake news. Uh, now for us, um, it's becoming more and more important, particularly in political sectors. And uh, we have to, uh, it's also very more and more difficult to find out uh, the reality of the news, because the, now the fake news writers, they become more and more smarter, and much smarter, they understand how to mix the mixture of the real and the, uh, the real and the fake news. And uh, uh, for, for me, I have to say, uh, the fake news has uh, also become an information weapon because uh, now we find out more and more uh, uh, organization. It's very hard to define this organization that they like to use uh, to write about the fake news, uh, try to, to do uh, some of the purposes, for example, like the terrorism, like uh, to trigger the Symphonia also would like to trigger extremism. So I have to say, uh, that now about the fake news, uh, we pretty worried about uh, more and more the innovation and the technology about the fake news writing become the uh, become more. Okay, so I just quickly to uh, finish uh, my uh, presentation of my the basic research. If you have any question, I'm very happy and to accept your question. Thank you.